So many of the artists represented in this, in this collection, um, leaders in our community, and um, so many people who have made all of this possible. Um, it's now my great pleasure to introduce you Mayor Nichols, um, who has taken time out of his busy schedule to be with us this evening. And I have to say, from my experience working with the mayor, um, both at King County and in the last few weeks with the Arts Commission, uh, we're very fortunate to have someone um, leading our city who um, truly and intrinsically understands the value of art in our community. So it is my great, great pleasure to introduce Mayor Nichols. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. I promise uh, not to deliver a stem-winding uh, political speech, but I did want to take a minute and welcome you all to City Space. Uh, this is a wonderful space that has, uh, over the last few years, gone through a couple that offer and for following through on that. And Michael, I want to thank you and your staff for the great job. Beth, the, the work in uh, curating this and uh, yeah. I uh, spent a good part of my early career working for the city. I worked for eight years for Norm Rice when he was on the city council. Uh, and uh, so I had the opportunity to enjoy uh, a number of the pieces that are here uh, and hadn't seen them in many years. Uh, I had been gone from the city for over 14 years. Um, and it's terrific to see the depth of the city's collection, which I think is reflected in the, uh, in the uh, show that is here today. A number of the pieces uh, I have fond memories of, uh, some very recent memories because they were taken out of our office uh, <laughs> in order to share with the broader public, uh, but I think it's a legacy that we should be very proud of. This city, years ago, decided that it was going to invest uh, in the arts, that it was going to put its money where its uh, political rhetoric had been, uh, and over time, I think we've, uh, we've uh, put together a collection that we can be very proud of and one that will uh, stand the test of time. So thank you for coming and helping to celebrate, bringing it out of offices, bringing it out of storage, uh, and having an opportunity to kind of trace the history of, uh, of the building of this collection, which of course, as with any collection, is a work in progress. So thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yeah, I know, but I, my eyes have gotten to the point where I just couldn't quite. Okay, it's a C. Pat Cashman. Pat Cashman. No, no, that's not. So I'm sorry about that. You know, let us know if we can do anything else. We're going to try to make this line. So we really well, appreciate it because after the big. Well, we had a, a reception here for the uh, chief of naval operations and the fleet when they came in. Yeah, it worked very, very well. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. All right, good deal. Yeah. All right, see you around. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Good. I'm doing great. This is Patty Walsh. Hello there. How are you? Beautiful ceramic piece over there. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. That's my career. Uh huh. That's very important. It's an interesting. I I like. I mean, I'm. I like it. I like it. Thanks. We had yeah. it in our office for a long time. Did you? It. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. When did you do this? I think probably in the 70s. In the 70s? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, these are painting. You can spend that yourself. Uh-huh. You know, you have for 20 years, you 
Administration were changes. Yeah, yeah. Patty's most best known piece in our collection was at the Opera House for a lobby. It's a very big piece. Okay. And each okay. one of them is either holding a paintbrush or doing something that's very characteristic of that. And so it's at the convention center. Where is the convention center? It's in the new one. No, no, no. no. Their yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they left their burkas behind. <laughs> I mean, it was. Now, is that a is that a car underneath, uh -huh. or is that a? It's a, a large vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Not a Volkswagen. Yeah, I mean it's just very visually interesting, and it kind of makes you look at it. Yeah, I like that. I had a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the story behind it? Was it a commission work? No. Uh, okay. I usually uh, whatever is inside. Have yeah. Okay. It was a purchase, wasn't it? Yeah. And, uh, no, I, I usually. So you had purchase. a nightmare in this. Oh. In. <laughs> but uh, usually I. I yeah, and yeah. whatever pops out, you know, yeah. comes out, and you know, <laughs> I was surprised that you know people kind of react, react. Yeah, it. not well. really. But <laughs> He's the painting that is blue and pink, and it's on the other side with the with the monkeys. It's oh, okay, okay. Uh huh. And then this and when is did you do that? Trucker, that piece? And, uh, Probably three or four years ago. Okay. All right. But, uh, Well, I. And we'll vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. And this is Paul Marioni. Paul, how are you? Nice like pleasure to meet and you. And Troutner, his Parker wife. And how are you? Right. Pleasure. And they're internationally known glass artists. Oh. Who, in fact, have you been over to the Safeco headquarters? They just did no, no, all the floors. Oh, okay. These incredible glass floors. So if you get a chance, you should go see them. They're absolutely beautiful. Liquid light. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. How long have you been uh, working uh, with glass? Can you check my audio levels? Okay. So one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you have your glasses on that match your painting. Yes. <laughs> you planned that? No, I no. didn't. But I, I happened to end up with green. I wonder how you feel tonight having um, the city have this new space to show this collection that they've been building for years and years, and you're a part of it. Um, well, I think it's, it's, it's great that the city has a space. I just hope they can get people to come into it, you know. Um, it, in a one way, it's hard for some of us because we're used to it. it. It's been an art space for so many years, and they've always had good shows here, so we want them to continue to have good shows and I think maybe it gives more visibility to the artists that are in, in the city collections that and I think that's a good idea because not only does it um, uh, if there's something here for everybody and and then also it stimulates the artists the younger artists to apply and to participate and and then the more people that apply and participate, the more places they're going to put art throughout the city. And hopefully, that will improve the architecture in a lot of places, like Belltown or downtown. Or It's the ripple effect that they should be after. When you look around the room tonight, I would assume what you see on these walls are friends of yours. Yes, that's true. I, you know, like I've been here, what, 30 years, 40 years? Um, I, I know all, almost all the artists. I do know all the artists in here. And it, it's nice to see them all together, to see all the paintings together. And, it, and Beth did a great job of, of sort of uh, placing things and putting them together. It's not crowded. It, it's, I think it's, they, it's quite successful, and I think she did a good job. So good. the city should be, you know, proud of itself. Good. Okay. Thank you. And we will be. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can get um, Alden Mason. Um, so when... Hello, when sir. I'm gonna, the next guy I'm going to uh, get is for... In
How are you doing, sir? Good. I'm Gary Gibson. I know you, sir. You, uh, you ha do you have work in this show? Yeah. yeah. When did they, when did, they, was that collector? Last summer. And uh, shot, a, shot an interview with Dante up there who was, he was just came up to visit. I think it was on the day of the, remember the dedication of the totem pole piece? Yeah. He's the director. <laughs> You just want to roll them. You just want to roll them. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to get Mr. Mason over here. Have you met the mayor? Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, just talking to people. Very good. Okay, you got a minute? Hand loom, ink loom. How long ago was that? About 20 years or five years ago. And they're still in style. Well, because I haven't worn them that more than oh. about twice. <laughs> yeah. And all, you know, but the thing about styles is they all come around again. That's true. Okay. That's true. So tonight you are part of this show called Northwest Masters. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what that what that is really. <laughs> There's a funny thing about this penny though. It was shown at the Greg Cassara Gallery in the early 80s, and I have a rather obnoxious second cousin who I won't name, but he talks awful loud. He came to the show, and I did a sort of satire. I named it after him. It's John Likes Himself, which is his name. And he came to the show, and, and it was a satire, but he took it the, the opposite way. And he says, oh my God, you made me famous. I'm my portraits in the gallery. And then, and it was real loud. You could hear it all across the whole gallery, you know. So then I, he called me. It was in the paper last week. Uh, you saw that? This thing painted with painting. And immediately, I hadn't seen him, heard from him for 15 years. And immediately I got a telephone call. He says, you made me famous again. I'm in the newspaper. My portrait's in the newspaper. So he saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he calls immediately, says, I gotta take you to lunch and then we gotta go see the penny. Of course he never did that, but I funny. wonder when you when you look around the room here tonight, I would I would guess that everybody on these walls are friends of yours. Yeah, that's true. Almost everybody. Yeah. Like Bob Jones over there, they just they just moved to San Miguel Allende for six eight months out of the year. I wish I could have done that. And, Ivy was a friend of mine. Of course, he's gone now. But uh, yeah, it's in fact most of the people I taught at the university are are died, of course, and so I'm still here. That's my good. mother, my mother died um, about three and a half years ago. She was 104, 
So I have very good jeans and I wear them all the time. <laughs> yes, we got, we'll get a shot of those jeans. <laughs> what, do you, uh, what do you think about the city owning, a, owning an art collection like this? I think it's wonderful. Uh, at least it takes place of the uh, Northwest Annual that they used to have and they don't have anymore, which I think still regret. That was a way of, you know, all the artists could see their work and meet together and have a competition. I, I regret that. That was a nice thing a long time ago, but I still don't remember that. That was nice. In a way, this takes place of that a little bit. place where we can see yeah, a group of artists people. together. No elitism. <laughs> Much. <laughs> well, congratulations on being part of this, well, and uh, you're you're still working. I know. Well, that's my studio, so I moved to Ballard. My roots. My mother's, my father was Swedish, my mother's Norwegian, so I'm back to Ballard. That's my studio now. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot.